Sup, y'all? It's Terry Guide. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so I'm going to do this little segment about just some stuff in Logic that nobody tells anybody, and I found out over a course of about a year, and it just really helped me. So the first one being that in UltraBeat, the 25th sample will automatically pitch up from your original sample every key higher. So, for example, this is the 25th key. I put a little 808 snare. 26, 7, 8, and so on. It's really useful for snare rolls. So if you just have your sample and you just drag it right up there, and then every key higher will be a pitched up version of it. Uh, the next one is if you're gonna EQ and compress something, which you mostly always should, um, you want to just do exactly that. You want to EQ it before you compress it because you want to eliminate the frequencies that you don't want and then compress the ones you do. So just EQ it and then compress it. Okay, um, another thing is always bus your reverb and delay. For those of you that don't know what a bus is, a bus is a means of applying the same effect to multiple tracks without putting the actual audio unit of, like, for instance, Space Designer on each of the actual tracks. You just have one track. I'll show you. Uh, well, I have a, I made a bunch in a red preset, but this can be applied. This is the second bus, as you will see. It can be applied to any channel strip. So I'm going to bus it to my medium verb. Shaboom. Pretty epic. Um, so yeah, do that, because that's great. And that saves on CPU, which is down here. And it just makes it easier to apply the same effect to multiple tracks. OK. And the last thing is, if you're going to EQ something, don't do any extreme angles. So for example, if you want to cut out some of the high end on this, I'm just going to raise it up. Don't do that though, you shouldn't raise these up like this, you should do it in your compressor or like a gain unit, just because this gets messy, it, just with automation, don't, just don't do it, okay. So anyway, uh, so I was saying, don't e EQ extreme angles, so I always go for like a 6, like this is a nice gentle cutoff, and it's going to leave the frequencies up here remotely intact. So you're not getting a squash sound, which if you did it like this, you're just straight cutting off too many frequencies at once, and they're not at a you know, gentle angle, so you're still hearing them. Because you, you don't want to just squash your frequencies, you want to be able to hear the ones, even the ones you don't want, you want to be able to hear them a little bit because it's going to sound unnatural if you just take all the frequencies away like this. So, like, you can hear, it just sounds, that's just good just sounds more natural. You can hear it's like a, well it is a cutoff a filter, a high pass, um, a low pass, my bad. Okay, so yeah, that's just some tips that you should do because it will make your sound better. Thank you.